Welcome to Start Here with Inspiration 365. The Start Here with Inspiration 365 playlist on our YouTube channel Start Here with Jefferson is a fantastic resource for anyone looking to find motivation and inspiration in their daily lives. By featuring a wide range of quotes from various sources, our playlist provides viewers with diverse insights and perspectives that can help them navigate life's challenges and pursue their goals with renewed vigor. What sets our playlist apart is the way we go beyond simply citing the quotes and taking the time to explain and teach with them. Each quote is accompanied by thoughtful commentary that unpacks its meaning and provides practical advice for applying its lessons to one's own life. By doing so, we help our viewers better understand the quotes and how they can use them to improve their lives. The Table of Content The title for this episode. Here, we introduce the title of the week's inspirational quote. About the title, this section delves into a brief description and introduction of the week's title, setting the stage for the upcoming quotes. Introducing this week's authors. We introduce the names of the seven authors whose quotes are featured for the week. Today's subtitle. The subtitle is derived from the title labeling each part representing the seven days of the week. Today's quotation. We quote the day's quotation and reference the author of the quote for reflection. About the author of today's quote. A brief biography of the author and their achievements, providing context to the quote. The judgment. This subtitle focuses on exploring potential limitations or criticisms of the quote. Examining whether the message is universal, considering different audience receptions, and addressing counter-arguments. The key. This subtitle identifies the key message or themes of the quote. Exploring underlying principles, values, and how these ideas can be applied in various contexts. Connecting the quote to other important ideas or themes for you. The application. This subtitle explores how the quote can be applied to everyday life. Providing examples of how the quote can inspire action, offering tips on implementing the message in daily life, and considering its relevance to specific challenges or issues you may face. The image, focus on exploring the quote's metaphorical or symbolic meanings. Consider how the imagery or language contributes to the overall message and what deeper meanings or insights can be gleaned. Explore visual representations or interpretations in different contexts. The Potential Reversal This subtitle explores how the quote's message might be reversed or contradicted in specific contexts, considering challenges posed by different cultural or social norms, adapting the message to be relevant in other contexts, and reflecting on how the quote relates to different perspectives or worldviews. The Conclusion the conclusion, consisting of a few sentences, provides a sense of closure and reinforces the importance of the quote. Make a difference. You can make a huge difference by supporting us by buying us a cup of coffee. A message from Jefferson. Another inspirational message to encourage, inspire, and motivate you as we conclude the video. The title for this episode. The title for this week's start here with Inspiration 365 is Hopelessness. About Hopelessness Hopelessness is a state of despair and pessimism, characterized by a profound sense of helplessness and lack of expectation for positive outcomes. It is often accompanied by feelings of defeat, resignation, and a loss of motivation or purpose. In the face of hopelessness, individuals may struggle to envision a better future or believe in their ability to overcome challenges. This emotional state can arise from various factors, such as personal setbacks, societal injustices, or chronic stresses. 
However, while hopelessness can feel overwhelming, it is not permanent, and support from others, coping strategies, and a shift in perspective can help individuals find renewed hope and resilience amidst adversity. Introducing this week's authors. This week, we delve into the thoughtful insights of various authors on the theme of hopelessness. Claire Booth Luce reminds us that amidst challenging circumstances, it is our perception and response that determine our outlook. Chester W. Nimitz reflects on the courage needed to persist in one's convictions, even in seemingly hopeless situations. Friedrich Durenmatt offers a nuanced perspective, suggesting that hopelessness is relative and dependent on one's viewpoint. Mo Ibrahim highlights Africa's untapped potential, emphasizing the importance of harnessing hope for progress. And Grant empathizes with the confusion and grief inherent in transitions, while Jim Butcher delves into the depths of despair. Finally, Joyce Meyer offers a message of reassurance, reminding us of the enduring love and support available to us. Today's subtitle The subtitle for today's Start Here with Inspiration 365 is Hopelessness. Part 4 of 7 Today's Quotation Quote, far from being hopeless, Africa is full of hope and potential, maybe more so than any other continent. The challenge is to ensure that its potential is utilized. Unquote. Today's quotation is by Mo Ibrahim. About the author of today's quote. Mo Ibrahim, born May 3, 1946, is a Sudanese-British billionaire businessman and philanthropist widely recognized for his advocacy of good governance in Africa. Born in Sudan, Ibrahim rose to prominence in the telecommunications industry. He founded Keltel, a mobile phone company that expanded across Africa, connecting millions before being sold for a staggering $3.4 billion in 2005. This success fueled his passion for positive change in Africa. In 2006, he established the Mo Ibrahim Foundation, which is dedicated to promoting good governance and leadership on the continent. The foundation is known for its annual Ibrahim Prize for Achievement in African Leadership, a prestigious award recognizing exceptional former African heads of state. Ibrahim, through his foundation and his voice, continues to be a powerful advocate for a more prosperous and well-governed Africa. The Judgment While Ibrahim's assertion of hope and potential in Africa is inspiring, some may critique it for oversimplifying the continent's complex realities. Critics might argue that it overlooks persistent challenges such as poverty, corruption and political instability, which hinder the realization of its full potential. Additionally, the quote may be viewed as overly optimistic, neglecting the diverse experiences and perspectives of people across Africa. Some audiences may also raise concerns about the external factors such as neocolonialism and exploitation that continue to shape Africans' trajectory. Therefore, while the code offers a positive perspective, it may need to be contextualized within the broader social, political and economic dynamics of the continent.
the key. At its core, Ibrahim Scott underscores the resilience and inherent potential of Africa despite its challenges. It highlights the importance of recognizing and announcing the continent's vast resources, both natural and human, to foster development and progress. The code promotes a sense of optimism and empowerment, encouraging you to see Africa not as a lost cause but as a land of opportunity and promise. It emphasizes the need for proactive efforts to address systemic issues and unlock Africa's potential for the benefit of its people and the world. Ultimately, the code serves as a call to action to ensure that Africans future is shaped by hope, determination, and inclusive development. The Application In everyday life, Ibrahim Scott can inspire you to adopt a positive mindset and take action to contribute to African's development and prosperity. You can start by educating yourself about the continent's diverse cultures, histories, and current affairs to gain a deeper understanding of its challenges and opportunities. Additionally, you can support initiatives and organizations that promote sustainable development, economic empowerment, and social justice in Africa. By volunteering your time, skills, or resources, you can make a tangible difference in the lives of people across the continent. Furthermore, you can advocate for policies and practices that prioritize inclusivity, equality, and accountability to ensure that Africa's potential is realized for the benefit of all its inhabitants. The Image Ibrahim Scott invokes imagery of a vibrant and dynamic African teeming with potential and possibilities. It paints a picture of a continent rich in natural beauty, cultural diversity, and human resilience. The language used in the quote conveys a sense of optimism and hope, inviting you to envision Africa as a land of opportunity and growth. Visually, the quote may be represented through images of thriving communities, bustling cities, and breathtaking landscapes across Africa. It may also be depicted through symbols of progress and innovation, such as infrastructure projects, educational initiatives, and entrepreneurial ventures. Overall, the code conjures a powerful image of Africa as a continent on the cups of greatness waiting to be fully realized and embraced by the world. The Potential Reversal While Ibrahim's quote celebrates Africans' potential, it may be challenged by the harsh realities of poverty, inequality, and conflict that persist across the continent. Critics may argue that the quote overlooks the structural barriers and historical injustices that continue to hinder Africans' development and progress. Moreover, the notion of hope and potential may be perceived differently by diverse communities within Africa, with some feeling dissolution by broken promises and unfulfilled aspirations. Additionally, external factors such as exploitation, neocolonialism, and climate change further complicate Africans' path towards realizing its full potential. Therefore, while the code offers a hopeful perspective, it is essential to acknowledge and address the complex challenges that continue to shape Africans' journey towards a brighter future. The Conclusion
In conclusion, Ibrahim's code serves as a powerful reminder of Africans' resilience, hope, and potential in the face of adversity. While acknowledging the continent's challenges, the code inspires you to see Africa as a land of opportunity and promise, ripe for positive change and transformation. By embracing a proactive and inclusive approach to development, you can contribute to unlocking Africans' full potential and shaping a future defined by hope, prosperity, and dignity for all its people. Ultimately, the code underscores the importance of collective action and solidarity in realizing Africans' aspirations and building a brighter tomorrow. Make a difference by giving. Dear friends, your support can truly make a difference in our mission to spread positivity and inspiration across our three YouTube channels. The sure word for today, start here with Jefferson, and robust digital expert. By contributing through our Buy Me A Coffee link, you're not just supporting our work, you're actively participating in spreading hope and encouragement to thousands of viewers like you. With your generous contributions, we'll be able to enhance the quality of our content, reach a wider audience, and continue delivering uplifting messages that touch hearts and change lives. Your support enables us to invest in better equipment, production resources, and creative endeavors, ensuring that we can continue inspiring and empowering others. Every penny you donate goes directly towards creating meaningful and impactful content that resonates with people from all walks of life. Together, we can amplify the message of positivity, kindness, and faith, making a lasting impact on the world. If you feel inspired to contribute, you can find the link to support us in the description below. Feel free to share the link with your friends, family, and social networks, inviting them to join us in spreading love and light through our channels. Thank you for being a part of our journey and for helping us make a positive difference in the lives of others. With gratitude, A message from Jefferson. I want to express my gratitude to you for sticking with me until the end. Today is a day worth celebrating because you and I are here together. This moment is not a coincidence just as your life is not a fluke. Every success and setback you've experienced has played a crucial role in shaping who you are today. You cannot separate the two. They are intertwined, each contributing to your growth and development. Often, we tend to focus solely on the positives in our lives, overlooking the significance of our challenges and failures. However, it's essential to acknowledge that these obstacles provide the necessary balance to our achievements. Things are not always as they appear, there are always two sides to every story, including your own. It's easy to view life from a single perspective, but embracing the complexities of our experiences allows us to learn and grow. I encourage you not to underestimate the value of your own story. Avoid merely making or retelling the tales of others, as their experiences may not resonate with your unique journey. Your story, with all its ups and downs, is what truly defines you. Instead of idolizing the narratives of mentors or leaders, embrace the power of sharing your own experiences. Your story has the potential to inspire, heal, and uplift others in ways you may not even realize. So, I invite you to share your story with me. Your experiences, challenges, and triumphs are all valuable and I am genuinely interested in hearing them. Let's celebrate the richness and diversity of our individual narratives, for it is through sharing our stories that we can find connection, understanding, and strength. <laughs>